Hello everybody, a little different view today. Welcome to Sonoran Reef. Alright, so I'm at a stoplight, just turned on the camera, and uh, we are going on a field trip to one of my favorite um, saltwater stories here in the Northwest Valley of the Sun, Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, we are going to Studio Blue, and um, Studio Blue is uh, actually on the northwest side of Phoenix, like I said, in a suburb called Surprise, for those of you who don't live here in Phoenix. and. Um, I'm going to start doing a series um, every now and then on saltwater stores. This is going to be my first one. And uh, as we're driving here, I'm going to talk and keep my eyes on the road. But um, so every local reef store, every LFS um, has its own personality, its own characteristics. And Studio Blue is um, no exception. Uh, they have a great name. It describes exactly what they are. It is a studio. And uh, once we get there, I'll show you. But um, it is kind of the same way that I keep my reef tank. Just uh, very pristine. The tanks are clean. Uh, the store is clean. Well organized. Um, just a great store. Um, they really, really, really do a good job with it. Um, and every reef store specializes in something. Um, I would say that uh, Studio Blue, uh, again, because they're a studio, they do a really good job of um, showing you different kind of tank options that you can have, as well as they have a great selection of fish, and uh, we'll check that out when we get there. Um, but one of the things that they have that I like is a whole uh, fish rack dedicated to um, uh, bread uh, rather than caught. So um, they're a little bit more expensive, obviously, but if uh, you would like to be part of the saltwater hobby, but not um, uh, you'd like to support the breeding efforts, uh, there's an option here for you, which is great. Um, they have a whole section dedicated to nano reefs, which is really, really cool. Um, so when I'm looking for fish, which is why I'm going there today, we're going to get something for the quarantine tank, hopefully, uh, looking for either a, um, naso tang or a, um, a hippo tang, um, maybe angels, uh, mandarins. I have a couple things on my wish list to put in the quarantine tank. Uh, the quarantine tank has been going about six weeks and is ready to get some fish in there. So uh, that's why I'm going to Studio Blue. If I was looking for corals today, um, although Studio Blue has some great corals and we'll take a look at those, um, probably wouldn't, Studio Blue probably wouldn't be my first choice. If I'm looking for a tank, um, Studio Blue would be a great first choice. And uh, with fish, I think Studio Blue would be a great first choice. Another thing that I like about Studio Blue is that the, they have enough staff to really um, really give you some attention. Now, just like every local fish store, when they get inundated, you might have to wait a little bit. Uh, but they have a very knowledgeable staff that's been there a while. And, um, and, and like I said, you know, with local fish stores, there are, there are so many that try to do everything. You know, they try to sell equipment, they try to sell fish, they try to sell corals, they try to, um, you know, breed, they try to do everything. And I think that um, just like in a lot of things in life, if you're, um, you can be either, a, uh, if you're a jack of all trades, you're kind of an expert at none. So, um, you know, I can't do everything. Um, so I think that's one benefit of, uh, um, fish stores is if you have a good one they know what they do well and they're not afraid to refer out or refer you to another LFS if um, you know they don't have what you're looking for or they can't get what you're looking for um, 
you know, and I, I know they're in competition with each other, but all of the uh, fish stores that we're going to be looking in at this video um, are all ones that um, I don't, you know, I don't want to say that they play well together because I have no idea, but one thing that they do do is um, they're honest and they give you a really good recommendation. And like I said, Studio Blue is my one of my favorite places to get fish. Definitely on my side of town, uh, it's about 20 minutes away, best place to get fish. Um, I also like it because when I'm too lazy to mix up salt water, um, they have the pre-mix of the Red Sea Pro, which is what I use, so, um, you know, and I just realized I forgot the water jug, so I was going to pick up some. Looks like I'm mixing tonight. All right, well, we're almost there, just about five minutes away, so uh, next thing you see, we'll be pulling up to Studio Blue. All right, we're almost here. Um, one thing that I think is kind of a cool trend with a lot of the saltwater stores, at least in my area, they're not really opening up in um, like typical retail establishments. This is a business park that we're in here. And um, one really cool thing about this is, I mean, as a business owner, it's a, it's a smart decision. The lease space is a lot less so they can get a lot more store for the same amount of money. And, and really the odds of someone just walking up and making a purchase at a saltwater store aren't really, I mean, it's not really gonna happen. Most people who are looking for a saltwater store are willing to drive off the beaten path to get there. And uh, so that's kind of a really cool thing. Here we are. You can see, there we are at Studio Blue. If you come over here, you can see, kind of fun. So here we are at Studio Blue. Let's check it out. Okay, so here's the uh, first section as you walk in the door here. I kind of skipped over the water section, but um, this is their Nano Reef setup here. And uh, in these are most of their invertebrates. So you can kind of see just what I'm talking about here. Very, very clean. There's a fire shrimp, a uh, little nudie there. Um, some urchins, harlequin shrimp, um, starfish. Um, let's see here, what else do we have here? There is a coral banded and an arrow, another coral banded, some spiny urchins. So just a little bit of everything, which really kind of makes it cool. Here you have just a couple different kinds of anemones in this tank. Uh, again, choices, I love choices. This tank is one of the tanks they have for the larger fish. And I like that they don't keep the large fish in with the small fish. Oh, oh what do we got here? Uh-oh, we have a hippo tang. And we have a second hippo tang doing what hippo tangs do. So I may have to come back and take a look at this tank. They're a little bit bigger than I'd like. But um, here we go. Beautiful tank. Beautiful fish. There was a rafts in here I really wanted to show you it was a $200 rafts but it was hiding every time I walked over to the tank beautiful rafts though exquisite fairy rafts and here you go just different rafts angels um, self in tang there um, bicolor angel hawkfish um, blue throat trigger there um, almost got the mated pair of blue throat triggers, but decided against it. Um, so, again, another big tank for their larger fish. Usually they'll have more larger fish in here, but it is the weekend, so um, you know they've probably had a couple of fish already looked at. Now, this is the coolest part about Studio Blue. I mean, this is a store display setup. And it's got clams, SPS, LPS, just a great example of a mixed reef tank. And, you know, in most aquarium stores, their aquariums are like an afterthought. Nothing like this. Um, they have a couple more that they're setting up as they're expanding, but I just think that's incredible. And it really gives an example of what you can do in the hobby. And then to show off the equipment, here's their equipment room. But 
they actually show you the equipment. They show you how they plumbed it. They show you what type of filtration that tank has. They show you, are they using filter socks? Are they using a skimmer? There they have, uh, that's new by the way, brand new Neptune Apex, um, the Ecotech products. So not only can you buy the products from the store, but they can actually show them to you. They show you that they're using them, that they're not just uh, out there to make a quick sale, but you know, this is exactly what it takes. They have the PVC, the plumbing. I mean, you can take a look at this thing, get ideas, buy the product right there, and uh, go home and work on it. So really, really cool. Uh oh this is a little bit of a smaller hippo tank. I'm going to have to take a closer look at this one, but this one may be, this one may be coming home with me. We'll, we'll keep looking, but um, all right, let's keep looking. Oh, I really like that Coral Beauty, too. So, um, hmm, things to think about here as we're doing this video. Um, but here's just a whole other section of um, smaller fish. Uh, just, again, great diversity. Tangs, wrasses, clowns, damsels, uh, cardinal fish, just anything and everything that you could want. Here is their... Um, captive bred system so everything in these tanks has been captive bred now of course you're going to get a lot of clowns because of that but they have blennies they have these uh yellow tangs so if you guys have never seen the yellow tang that's been captive bred before they do look a little bit off but um you know they're just now entering the hobby so um you know as they get better at it i'm sure the fish is going to get better too so really cool that those are an option a little more expensive and again like uh, most fish stores they do have a coral selection here this is one of their four frag systems um, as we go into the next room this is their display tank room this room is really cool i mean they have several different aquariums that you can look at um, they're starting to set some of them up now this is kind of a new uh, new part to their store is they're going through and putting this thing together. Um, but one of the things I really like about this section of the store is not only do they have the display aquariums in here, but they've held meetings in here. So um, if we take a look here, yep, that's Dave. He's the owner. Um, this is the meeting room. The local frag group came and hosted a meeting here. Uh, really cool. We, they brought in pizza. They did an auction. Um, so going back here, uh, this is their Red Sea display setup, and you guys know that I'm a Red Sea junkie, so again, one of the other reasons why this is my favorite store, they're never out of the supplements when I'm too lazy to order them online, and I am too lazy to order them online half the time, so at least I know that they're here when I need them, and they have really good pricing, so... Um, I'll typically buy them here unless I just have no intention of going out. And here we have uh, some live rock that they have. And uh, this live rock, I mean, it's it doesn't stink. It's got great coralline algae growth on it. There's some branch rock there, so uh, definitely not the you know bottom rung of live rock, but it's great live rock. And then as you get ready to leave the store and check out. They have their award there, and they have that vibrant. I did a review on that. So there you go. All right, so we just left Studio Blue. We're heading back to my house, and, um, you know, really happy with uh, everything. Uh, kind of like I thought. They never disappoint when it comes to fish. They usually have what you're looking for, or if they don't, they can get it. Um, but I was hopeful that they would have some um, hippo tanks in, and they had six. They had two very small ones. Um, two kind of medium and uh, two a little bit larger and when I say larger I'm only talking about the palm of your hand larger and so after giving it some thought I went with the middle uh, he was about three inches long um, and I went with him because I'm hoping that he doesn't pose a threat to the, uh, the fish especially the purple tang that are already in the Sonoran Reef hopefully uh, with him being smaller like the uh, Tomini tang was when I put the Tomini tang in. The purple tang gave him crap for about a day and then just decided, eh, it's not worth it. So, and they're getting along fine now. So that's what I'm hoping will have happen. 
Um, I also got a small coral beauty. Um, just impulse purchase because it's going to go in the quarantine tank um, as well, along with uh, an impulse purchase wrasse um, that was on sale. So uh, those are the three fish I got. They'll be going into the quarantine tank. Like I said, the quarantine tank's been um, uh, basically shut down all summer. Um, for lots of different reasons. One was that move, you know, the business moved and I just didn't have time. Um, and so it's well cycled. I've been testing it every week and adding food to it every week and it's nitrates are at zero. So it's, it's ready for some fish. So I'll be excited to put those in. Um, you won't see that in this video. Uh, this video will be done when uh, I sign off here. Uh, but you'll get to see them in the tank in a in a future video, probably later this week. Um, so I really wanted to introduce you to Dave, the store's owner. Um, but Dave was in Colorado, I found out. He uh, had done a custom uh, frag system, I guess. So he was like a four by six custom frag system and he was installing that. So um, that is one part of Studio Blue that I didn't mention. They do custom acrylic work and uh, they also do installs with all those tanks that you saw in the in the lobby. So, um, in fact, if you ever want to see what Dave looks like, um, they uh, assisted on the build for the uh, TV show Tanked, and um, so that is pretty cool. If I can find a clip of that on YouTube, I will link it in the description below. Um, but anyway. That's Studio Blue. To kind of summarize, it's probably my favorite store. Um, but that said, I've only been to about six or eight fish stores in Phoenix, which is kind of ridiculous. It's a, it's a huge town. So um, I'm looking for some great fish stores to check out as part of the Dunlin series. Um, but to just see what else is out there. Um, you know, really, I would love to find a LFS out there that has just some amazing SPS coral. So if you know of a fish store that has just an incredible selection of SPS, please uh, comment down below. Um, if you like this video, if you like uh, going on a tour with me, uh, maybe some of you in uh, the east side of town have never seen Studio Blue and, and maybe this inspired you to go check it out. Uh, maybe I should go check out a store next to you. So, you know, let me know. And, um, but please like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Um, I have fun doing these videos for you. I don't do them as often as I need to or should to really get the thing going. But, um, again, this isn't a business of mine. It's more of a hobby. So, uh, but I do enjoy it. I enjoy talking to all you guys. So, um, I hope you have a great weekend and, uh, I will see you guys next time. See ya.